Hello, this is Lynn Allen, and welcome to yet another exciting Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Today is a beautiful sunny day in Northern California, and I am enjoying looking at my hummingbird feeder while I record this video. And the hummingbirds appear to be fighting. I just want to run out and say, hey, there's plenty for everybody. It's going to be fine. Anyway, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite express tools, which of course now all of us can use who have AutoCAD, called Overkill. It's been in the product a long time, very powerful express tool, but I find that not too many people know about it. If you have large drawings, you want to clean them up, if you want to bring down the file size of your drawings, if you have overlapping objects, too many vertices and polylines, just in general, you want to clean everything up, Overkill is going to make you very, very happy. Right, I just jumped over to AutoCAD and I was very excited that in AutoCAD 2010 they added a tab for Express Tools because let's face it, you can't live without our Express Tools. And the icon, the tool that is for overkill is this little broom right here. I guess that's because it's going to clean up your drawing, right? Of course, with a name like Overkill, I'm surprised there isn't like a slightly more violent icon like, I don't know, maybe a machine gun or something like that because <laughs> let's face it, that's definitely overkill, right? So taking a look at the screen, I have a very simple drawing and uh, you know, you're probably going to want to do this type of a tool on a very large drawing, but I won't lie to you, it can take a few minutes and, and I only have a few minutes with you, so I picked a very simple drawing to work with. So let's hit it. Let's hit the icon. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the objects in my drawing. You can just go ahead and window them. You can do a control A to select everything, you know, whatever happens to work for you. It looks like I lost one down here. This one down here too. Bad shot today. Um, see, that's why I should have done a control A. But anyway, uh, I'm going to hit enter and you'll see you'll be faced with this dialog box that's going to help Overkill know exactly what you have in mind. So you're going to be providing guidance to Overkill. So I'm going to be focusing on this part of the dialog box a little bit later because I have some examples I can actually show you. But taking a look up here, you'll see that it's going to ask you what things it should ignore. Maybe you have a line that's on top of another line, but they're on two different layers. Do you want it to get rid of one of those lines? It's completely up to you. So you're going to decide what it's going to ignore. Maybe you have two objects that are duplicate, but they have different line types or different colors. So that's what this part of that dialog box has to do with, and that's completely up to you, of course. Now this fuzz factor, which we often overlook, is actually a really important tool because this is also going to help Overkill clean up your drawing even more. So right now I have a fuzz factor of zero, which means all the objects have to be exact duplicates. So as far as size is concerned, so if you had a circle that had a radius that was 0 .00001 difference in size from another circle, it would assume there were two distinct different objects and you would still have two objects, even though I bet you in reality that's probably just an oversight. So this fuzz factor is quite kind of important. So that's up to you. If you typed in a fuzz factor of 0.1, then if you had, in that same scenario, if you had a circle that was only 0.1 units difference in size, then it would go ahead and it would assume that's a duplicate object as well. So we'll look at this second half of the dialog box later, like I mentioned to you. I'm going to hit an OK, and you'll see that it goes very fast. It found four duplicate objects, and it got rid of those. So two objects that definitely were duplicates. And then it also deleted some other objects. Maybe they were overlapping. Maybe there were different, ver there were uh, additional vertices inside of polylines that thought we didn't need. Um, pretty fast pretty efficient and it definitely cleaned my drawing up some. So let me jump back over to the PowerPoint because that's going to make it easier for me to illustrate some things. So here I have an example of the first option, optimizing segments within polylines. Do you want it to get rid of extra vertices inside of a polyline? Or in this case, I actually have an overlap right here. So there are two polyline segments here. As even though it's just one polyline, would you like it to get rid of that extra one? You can see in this case it brought it down from five segments to four segments. Hey, every segment helps, right? And here I have a scenario where I have overlapping objects. So here, this, these red X's indicate one line segment. These blue X's is another one. You can see there's an overlap right in there. Do you want, over, do you want overkill to clean it up? I'm going to say more than likely you do because we all know what happens when we have overlapping lines. We get extra he heavy segments when we print it and how irritating is that, right? Very irritating. Same scenario here with an arc. It would clean this up and give you just one continuous arc. Another scenario you might be interested in is end-to-end. -end. Maybe that's important to you. So here we have two line segments, but they both share an end point. It's not really causing you too much grief, but wouldn't you rather just have one continuous line? Here's another example with an arc. 
So before I leave you, let me show you an example of what happened when I ran overkill on a much larger drawing. I won't lie to you, like I said, it will take me a couple of minutes to, to, to run this command on this drawing. And since I only have a couple of minutes with you, I decided that I wasn't going to go that route. So in this scenario, it found over 1,400 duplicates in it. You know, very, very impressive that it was able to get rid of, and a total of almost you know 770 objects there. Very, very impressive. The overkill command can really clean up your drawing files and really help you save some time, and that's what it's all about, right? So I want to thank you again for joining me. Give overkill a try, and I want you to have a great couple of weeks before I see you again, and hopefully it will be just as fabulous a summer day as it is today. Take care.